Hello. There are too many different assets that would be a better investment than having a cash. And that's only because that the cash always lose its value by the time as a result of inflation. Hopefully that it will be assistance for you in being ready for what is occurring right now. And by the time it is over, you will only save cash for the essentials and reinvesting only. Let's not waste any time and dive right in. 7 better investments than having a cash. Number 1, real estate. Real estate prices are really skyrocketing right now. Why? Because people know what happens to the economy when money is printing from nowhere. So they look for investments that are thought to be a strong store of value. Real estate is by far the best way to keep money safe. Most people don't know this, but the value of your home doesn't actually rise. It is not like a bathroom appeared out from nowhere. Its value in terms of what it can buy is going down. So you have to pay more money for the same thing. The average price of a home in the US has doubled in the last 5 years, according to Zillow, which is the largest real estate website in the US. Prices are still going up, and the rate is only getting faster. In the past year, the average price has gone up by 18%, and their data shows that it will go up another 13% in the future. Taking into account the rise in the cost of raw materials, I think that the price of new apartment will be much higher than it is now. At this rate, it is one of the most expensive things you can do to save up for a house. Number 2. Stocks Have you seen that the stock market is at the highest level ever? So. It is true that the government prints money and it puts the money into the economy. People spend it on goods and services. In the same way that Jeff Bezos' wealth doubled because of the stimulus check, you guys used it to buy things from Amazon. Rich people know that the capital can be lost, so they don't bother putting money under their madness. Instead, they buy stocks or better yet index funds like the S&P 500. All of the new printed money poured into the stock market sending prices through the roof. In the last 16 months, every dollar investing in the S&P 500 has doubled in value. More than half of people in the US have no investable assets. The richest 10% of Americans now own almost 90% of all the stocks in the US. You see, this is why the rich are getting richer. The poor hold on to their money for dear life, but the rich put their money in things that get more valuable over time. Number 3. Lands Here's how it works. If there is one thing that is really hard to get, it is land. We know for sure how much land can be used for living. Even if we build artificial islands like they did in the Maldives or Dubai, that would be hella expensive. The US Department of Agriculture says that the price of farmland has gone up by 7% in the last year and has been going up since 2007. Right now, people want land so bad because the whole world has changed. This is why in the past we've been tied to the place where we work. The farm came first, then the factory, and finally the office. This chain has been broken for the first time in the history of people. People now know that they can work from any place. Why spend a hundred times as much on a land in the suburbs when you can get a better deal 13 minutes away? With all the new of the great technology coming out on the market, you can live and work and move anywhere you want. Land is likely to be one of the best things to invest in over the next 50 years. Number 4. Swiss francs or other superior currencies I can't believe how uncomfortable people in the US are with using different currencies. Through a lot of influencing and marketing, they have come to believe that the US dollar is, is the strongest and most valuable currency in the world. This hasn't been true for decades, but people still believe it. Not only there are other currencies that are stronger, but the US dollar has also been one of the most diluted and ignored currencies. While keeping a strategic position in the Middle East, the US has been printing and sending containers full of US dollars there. When they needed to buy off a political power, they just made more money and flew it in cargo plane. When your governments buy off other governments with money, it might be time to switch to a different currency. The best choices are the Swiss francs, which are not tied to any other currency and are instead backed by gold and land and real estate and raw materials and other real assets. The second is the Euro and then the British Pound. 
Only the Swiss francs has made it a priority to not print more money in order to fight inflation. While the US and Asia and most of Europe are dealing with double digit inflation, Switzerland has made to keep it under 1%. When it comes to money, you should never bet against the Swiss. Number 5. Livestock What do you think of that? The US dollar is not a better investment than pigs and cows and sheep and chickens. Yup, it is even more viable than gold. This is especially true in developing countries, where people want animals more than they want gold or cash. Because you can't milk a dollar or a gold coin no matter how hard you try. You might think I'm joking, but even the price and demand for compost are doing much better than the US dollar. With all that is going on in micro farming right now, and the rise in demand for high quality cattle like Black Angus, livestock could be your way to get rich. Number 6. R. Be honest, do you really understand why rich people pay ridiculous amounts of money for paintings you think a 10 years old kid could make? Well, the rich keep their money in these things because the price of art is always the same. You buy it for $1 million, but the value of the dollar drops by 50%, so you won't sell it until it's worth more than $2 million. Art remained the area of wealth management with the least amount of rules because the wealthy protect it with their money. From a statistical point of view, it is better to invest in art than the S&P 500. Number 7. Raw Materials I brought this up before when I talked about real estates and land, but raw materials, especially those used in buildings, are very hot right now. On average, the cost of raw materials has gone up by 18%, but the cost of making things has stayed about the same. You can use these changes in the market to your advantage if you buy material stocks. At the end, I have something to add. You are obviously focused on growth and making the most out of everything that's about to happen. So, I'd like to ask you a few questions. If someone started a small business and it doesn't do well, who's to blame? Well, the CEO of the company is to blame. Now, let's say that the company started to do well. Now, who's going to take this? Also the CEO of the company again. Now, let's say that you look back on your life as a failure and full of regret and a waste of time because you never built the life you really wanted to live. Who's to blame? It is yours, right? And what if everything goes perfectly and you live an amazing life full of everything you've ever wanted? Whose fault is that? Of course it is yours. You see, the reason you don't have the life and success you want is because you don't take charge of your life and act like the CEO. To make the smart choices, you need to move your life toward the big goal you set for yourself. You are the CEO of your life, so act like that. Most of what I said here made sense to you and you know what's going to happen here as the CEO of your life. So are you just going to watch or are you getting ready? If you are ready to do something with all of this, say so in the comments. Let's see how many of you are done of being the underdog and ready to be the CEO. And at the very end, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you do so, hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.